Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad iPad tutorial. Today, friends, we're going to make a bat. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends. So, step one, of course, make sure you're on designs. Let's hit new, and we're going to make a 3D design. When it loads, let's name it. I'm going to name it bat. When you click out here, that makes it permanent. All right, everybody, so here you can see the bat we are trying to make. Notice it kind of looks like an acorn, wings, and it has ears. I'm going to switch back to Tinkercad. This, that's one of the sweet things is we can go back and forth pretty easy. So let's make piece number one. We're going to bring out a piece of scribble, and like I said, it looks a bit like an acorn. So I'm going to go down here to my drawing tool, and I'm going to make half a heart. And then I'm going to make the other half a heart. Boom. If you don't like it, you can redo it. I'm going to keep that one just because I'm trying to teach you how to make one. You can make yours absolutely awesome. I'm going to set the height to 2. Remember, we pull down to do the numbers. Tell it OK. And I'm going to make it black. Because, of course, it's going to be a bat. You can adjust the skinniness and the length however you want. Make it what you think is cool. I'm going three centimeters because I think that's going to be pretty fun as we build. Friends, we're going to do scribble to make a wing. So once again, I'm going to bring the scribble out. Once again, I'm going to do that cool wing shape. I'm going to peek back here at our chrome project. Said this sweeps up one, two, three times, comes up, sweeps down, and then connects. So it's one, two, three, one, and then connects. Are you ready? We are going to do that in Tankercad. Sweep tool. So here we go. I'm going to go one, two, three, come up, sweep down, and then connect. Boom. You have just made a wing. Now, if you don't like it, you can hit clear, and you can do it again. Once again, sweep up, two, three, come up, sweep, and let go until you've got wings you think are pretty cool. I'm going to hit done. Once again, we're going to change our height to two. Don't forget you have to backspace and then swipe down to get that too. Tell it OK. Move it over to where it would fit pretty decent. Let's make it that same black. And we are going to do duplicate. Now if we zoom out to home, you can see that's looking pretty sweet. But we need to put the duplicate on the other side. We're going to do flip. And we want to flip it that way. And bam! Just like that. You have got the bat's body and wings. Now, if you want them to be perfectly aligned, we're going to go click, and we're going to go click. And when we do a line, we want this top spot to be marked. If it doesn't work the first time, once again, just do again and again until you get it. Notice they are all the same, so that it is lined up. I'm going to make them a group. So now I can do a line on those two parts. And I want them to be in the middle, so I just tap that, and boom, now they're aligned that way as well. Let's go back to our picture. Notice there's a little more rounded, and then we've got ears. So let's go back to our project. And I'm going to double click this middle part. And remember, it has to be a little more rounded. So I'm just going to use that same drawing tool, and I'm going to draw up a little more. until I think I've got it the way I want. You can also erase. You can do that as many times as you want. And I'm going to call my body done right there. Let's go back and look at those ears again real quick. Notice the ear goes almost straight up, almost straight back. Let's see if we can make that using that same Tinkercad scribble tool. We're bringing out a chunk of scribble. We're going to switch to the shape drawn tool. And remember, it was almost straight up, almost straight out, just like that. And hit done. Once again, let's make that height two. Backspace. Drag down the two. Tell it OK. Notice we do need to change the shape. I always do that with the black handles. 
and once you get one that you think is cool set the color and we're going to do duplicate move the other one to the other side I'm going to bring that out just a little further so I can see the flip better and now I can bring it back and put it in place so we can play with this however we want I think I want those to rotate a few degrees let's zoom out and that is pretty darn fun let's check back at our reference image one more time we've got the ears we've got everything there is in that simple bat that's pretty fun let's group it so that it turns into a solid so first I'm gonna click the middle then the wings then I've got to click both of the little ears and when we hit group boom we have just made a super fun bat now you can have all kinds of fun with this adding other things let's go down here and check out the creatures and characters these eyeballs are pretty fun I am gonna drop on these angry eyeballs if we zoom in on that with fit view it'll be rotated the wrong way I'm gonna look at it from a corner notice I had to touch out here to get that angle and let's rotate it 90 degrees I'm gonna zoom out so I can find that rotation handle that was hiding and if we stay real close to the shape they snap 22 and a half degrees at a time I'm gonna undo that move and as a matter of fact, I'm going to click on our bat, and I want to padlock it. And then I can take our eye and lower it down with the cone until I've got it exactly where I want. That looks pretty sweet. And then, of course, one of my favorite tricks, instead of bringing in the other eye, I like to just duplicate the first eye, drag it across. Now, I can't see my handle to flip, so I'm going to click somewhere else, click on the bat, I'm gonna hide the bat for a minute now it's real easy to see that flip and then boom bring it all back and that is pretty darn fun now remember there are tons of other things to search through here have fun explore see just how awesome you can make your bat don't forget when you are done it is super cool to come back and have it save and then click on it and change its properties so that it is a public design give it a description give it a tag make it public and then go down and choose no derivatives this is so other people have to do the tutorial as well everybody learns a lot more when they actually do their own projects finally friends don't forget if you hit gallery switch from staff picks to recent if you look up here boom you will actually see your design show up and it's ready to receive reactions now if you see other designs that are cool like oh my gosh trophy pizza who doesn't think that's awesome i'm gonna give it an awesome rating then after you give them a reaction you can hit gallery to go back to the gallery or you can hit tinkercad to go back to your main page of course friends i hope you had a ton of fun with that project and of course if you want to learn more you can find my website hlmodtech.com it has a page dedicated to tinkercad and then down at the bottom there is also a sweet built-in messaging tool you can click that button add your question comment or suggestion and reach out to me almost instantly friends i do also want to highlight the tinkercad community discord it is a fantastic place to talk everything tinkercad and finally friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you have a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.